Coming to you live from the first WNBA game here in Toronto, Canada. It's live for last week, episode 125. Let's go! My fellow Geo Walkers to another episode of Lab from last week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless book before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So first of all, feeling quite old and sore today, with the main reason being what I did 24 hours ago. Where I went with my cousin and a couple of friends back to Epic Sports for yet another three-hour badminton session. <laughs> that I did accomplish yesterday was while I was working on my language skills on my Duolingo app, guess who achieved a 2200 day Duolingo practice streak? Also, with some of my friends and family members knowing that I had a previous passion for running races and athletics in the past, my cousin Shar, who you guys remember me running into last month at the Blue Jays game, was asking me if I could run the race of the Sporting Life 10K with her this weekend. And since I already committed to saying yes to her, I've got approximately five days to train for this race. Or I'm thinking I might do what I usually do, which is not train at all and just show up meeting her at the start line. Anyways, on to today, recalling from last week, I was telling you guys about a $25 concert ticket promo. Well, RBC customers like me had access to a pre-sale code for these $25 tickets, of which I went online and tried to get a couple today. And although the majority of the RBC pre-sale tickets were already sold out when I got online, I was able to get my hands on a pair of tickets to Baby Metal, a band that my cousin Lou is dying to see. Anyways guys, to be honest, it's gonna be a pretty busy week for me outside of the vlog, since tonight I'm going in for my first of a scheduled four night shifts, doing a set of eight night shifts in the next 10 days. So for now, I'm thinking I'll just rest up for a little bit and I'll catch you guys again tomorrow. First of all, I wanted to wish all my friends and family members out there who are nurses a happy nursing week. And on that note, this morning, voted upon by my colleagues, I received this award from our unit at work. The very coveted Unit Athlete Award. Thanks again to all my coworkers who nominated me to receive this award. And to celebrate this morning, remembering that the $25 Live Nation Concert Week tickets go on sale at 10 a.m., I spent over 30 minutes looking and researching for tickets only to disappoint me, letting me know that after waiting for a while, we're no longer available. And after taking my post night shift nap a little bit earlier, I was finally able to land a pair of tickets to go to a concert to see one-fifth of the band of One Direction. I got back on the site and was able to land a pair of tickets to watch Amanda Marshall at one of the historic venues in Toronto that I've always wanted to go to, the legendary... Massey Hall. But yeah guys, before I go in for my second of my scheduled four night shifts tonight, we have a quick birthday greeting to one of my friends that I made at Neil Weissick back when she lived in downtown Toronto. This birthday shout out goes out to you Samantha. Happy birthday Sam. As well, we got a birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who I'm remembering used to live down the street from me back when we were youths. 
This is birthday shout out goes out to you, Fallon. Happy birthday, Fallon. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So, just a quick update on some bad news that I recently received. Recalling how my cousin Char wanted me to join her in the Sporting Life 10k race set for this Sunday. Well, unfortunately, the race bib that she was gonna get for me was somehow lost or unregistered. Which means I don't have a race bib to race with this Sunday. But the good news being, I get to sleep in this weekend. Another surprise that I had yesterday evening before I went to work was that the wife brought home this surprise bag full of goodies from the one, the only, Chick-fil-A. And after downing the spicy deluxe sandwich for dinner, as well as their patented waffle fries, we made our way to drop off the wife downtown for her to take the UP Express to the airport to go on a family trip to Europe. Okay, bye wife. Have a marvelous wow. trip to Italy without me. Ciao. Soul searching. No, <laughs> Bye. bye. So sadly, before I went to work, I had to say goodbye to the wife for the meanwhile. With the silver lining being that the wife this evening let me know that she arrived safely in Italy. But another piece of sad news that I have to break to you guys is that last night was the end of an era. With the grand opening of a larger ICU unit space in the hospital that I work at, one of the specialty units that I've worked in over the past 10 years, Sadly, has finally closed. Bye, step down. Thank you for your service for the past 20 years in the hospital. So I took some time out of my busy night shift last night to turn off the lights and finally say goodbye to this unit. Moving on, speaking of work, before I go in for my third of my scheduled four night shifts tonight, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with a birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball friends who I haven't been able to pair up with over the past couple of years. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Brent. Happy birthday, Brent. Next up, a birthday greeting to one of my childhood friends who I'm remembering was a pretty good race car driver back in the day and whose favorite race car driver was Juan Pablo Montoya. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Bradburn. Happy birthday, Corey. And last but not least, a birthday shout out to one of my high school friends who I'm remembering was one of the most physically strongest people that I knew. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Tyler. Happy birthday, Tyler. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And just another quick heads up before I jet for the night. After getting minimal sleep in between my night shifts once again, Guess who was able to land another pair of tickets through the Live Nation $25 Concert Week promo? Going to a venue that I've always wanted to go to in mid-June? To go see in concert at Rebel, BB Rexa. So after an indecent amount of sleep, only napping for about half an hour in between my night shifts, I think I'm pretty excited for a couple of reasons. After the days in April where it felt like it was a sauna here in this building, it was a crazy 32 degrees inside. Today, management officially opened the settings for air conditioning in the condo. And guys, are we ever glad that the AC is back on for this summer season? I also wanted to do a quick shout out to the wife who is overseas at this time and inform her that her friend's downtown apartment key had transferred hands yesterday in the evening. Proof that we got G's key to G. Hi, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> and after going in for my third night shift last night, this morning on my AM commute from work, I was so starstruck because this is what happened. Guys, check out who I met on my commute home. Is this guy behind us? Look at He's like, is David. Oh, oh, you were talking about me. Oh, sorry, brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. John Montgomery, Olympic legend. Ooh, yeah, I like that word. Thanks, man. Cheers, brother. I still can't believe I was stuck in the rush hour traffic going home from downtown today, which was fate because I was able to meet one of my Canadian Olympic heroes. The gold medalist for Skeleton in the 2010 Vancouver Winter Olympics, who's also part of a show that we religiously watched in previous Live From Last Week videos in the past. 
the host of The Amazing Race Canada, John Montgomery. Anyways, for more good news, I just want to sing a little bit the song that I usually sing when I'm going in for my last of my scheduled four night shifts. And while once again wearing my Get Shift Done shirt, this song goes, I've got one more night. But before we go in for work, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball friends who I'm remembering pairing up with during one of Rob's summer beach volleyball tournaments. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Sonia. Happy birthday, Sonia. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who I'm remembering good times partying with at her house on Bloor Street. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Vanessa. Happy birthday, Vanessa. I'm hoping all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. After being happy, finally getting off my fourth night shift this morning and getting another minimal amount of sleep, I decided to get up early, take the baby Rouge out for an afternoon ride and make my way here downtown to not just visit my cousin Jonas at work at the Scotiabank Arena because he told me that he was working, but rather go to an event that I have been circled on my calendar for a while, checking out the first ever WNBA game played in Canada. Boys and girls, that was a pretty fun event. From meeting Mel and Jessica, who had this sign, wanting to land a WNBA team in Canada, being interviewed also by CBC News, and getting on the video board during the game, to me being featured on the video board as well. And here's another angle in case you guys missed it, to bumping into a big basketball fan that I haven't ran into since her university day. Guys, it was great running into Jellica and having such a fun time at this game. Anyways, before I head home and try to catch up on some lost sleep from today, I have a quick birthday greeting to a beach volleyball friend from university that I haven't seen since Jess's wedding. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Rochelle. Happy birthday, Rochelle. I'm hoping at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So to start off, we're gonna rewind to this morning for this quick greeting. First of all, I wanna wish all the mothers out there, past, present, and future, a happy Mother's Day. Especially this mom, Tita Mone, who instead of spending quality time with her children, decided to go on a holiday in Cuba with her husband for Mother's Day. Anyways, mom, happy Mother's Day to you too, and a safe trip when you get back home to Canada. We're also going to do a quick birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball friends who I'm remembering playing in Rob's summer beach volleyball tournament back in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Matt. Happy birthday, Matt. We've also got a birthday greeting to one of my former co-workers who I'm remembering singing Cake by the Ocean with during our shifts. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Bucky. Happy birthday, Bucky. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthday this year. Now remembering what I said yesterday when we were supposed to meet up with my cousin Jing during the game, he texted me to let me know that he was just too busy for me to visit this time around. So maybe when he's not as busy, next time we'll be able to visit and see him at work once again. 
But yeah, after my time watching the WNBA game yesterday afternoon, I was honestly feeling pretty hungry from not eating all day. So as usual, I opened the Too Good To Go app and decided to try out the freshie option for about five to six dollars. But once I made my way and picked this baby up, I saw that I was getting an underwhelming portion of food for what I was paying for. This salad appetizer. What is this? A portion for ants? But luckily, just a five minute drive away, I was able to go through the Too Good To Go app again and visit a place that we haven't been to since last month. The one, the only, Tagpuan. And I was like, now this is a real Too Good To Go portion. Let's go Tagpuan, baby. And after catching this beautiful sunset from the condo, I started to chow down on these Too Good To Go specials that were actually delicious. I then passed out pretty late last night, only to get minimal sleep and rise up around the time that the sun rose this morning to catch these beautiful views. And I'm thinking it's basically because I didn't want to get behind on all the busy stuff that I have planned for today. So I started off this Mother's Day by going to visit Lilla on her monthly visit and greeting her. Hey Lilla, just wanted to stop by before I go to church and wish you a happy Mother's Day to the mother of all mothers. Then headed to the Annunciation of the Blessed Virgin Mary Parish for Sunday Mass before visiting the Highland Memorial Gardens for the first time since this Live From Last Week episode to also greet my Tita Malin a happy Mother's Day. Hey Tita Malin, after church, just wanted to stop by and wish you a happy Mother's Day. We're still thinking about you, still praying for you. I then headed back to downtown Toronto to wait in line in these lineups four hours before opening pitch because my buddy Yuli wanted to see if I can get the Alec Monoa bobblehead day giveaway today and get it for his son who is an absolute huge Alec Manoa fan. And after meeting our special guest of the day who is joining me for the Blue Jays game this afternoon. Look at this. Happy Mother's Day, Lou. <laughs> Guess who got their hands on the giveaway of the day? Woo, happy Mother's Day with the bobblehead. <laughs> we also got to sit at the general admission bleachers once again, where Lou had a couple of gifts for me from his recent trip to Japan. Pasa Lubo, what is it? We were also lucky to get a couple of souvenirs that were thrown into the crowd right before the game started. As well as this surprise for our nephew. Yo Kyrie, your Tito Louie got you a ball! What? With my glove? Official baby! Official! <laughs> And after watching this very entertaining game with these highlights, I'm gonna catch it with my flower. Ooh! And after, with two outs and the bases loaded in the ninth inning, Blue Jays catcher Danny Jansen did this. Let's go!
And that got us all riled up for this post-game analysis. Yo, Lou, what a game. What an ending. Clutch win, baby. Woo! Hit him with your purse. Hit him with your purse. Hit him with your purse. And I still got the flowers. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Hit him with your purse. <laughs> and did I mention, we also got featured here in one of the videos on the Blue Jays Instagram account. Did you catch us? Anyways, I'm back in Saga now, a little bit calmer after that exciting game. Here to deliver the bouquet of flowers that I actually brought inside the stadium with me to watch the whole game and give them as a Mother's Day gift to the mother-in-law. Okay, Happy Mother's Day! It's so funny, I have a story with that one afterwards, I'll tell you. Yeah. And the story that I wanted to tell her yesterday, as you guys already know, was me bringing that bouquet of flowers in my hand for the past 12 hours, even taking it to the Blue Jays game and having the flowers with me during that comeback win by the Blue Jays. And speaking of my Blue Jays and me still not being over being on yesterday's TV broadcast, let's check this out. Where are we? Where are we? Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> Do you guys recall this scene from last week's episode? Well, if any of y'all are interested, I'll be giving away one of these George Springer Blue Jays alternative jerseys to one of my lucky Jaywalker POV viewers out there. Well guys, today is that day where we are raffling off that George Springer Blue Jays jersey. And this jersey is for one lucky Jaywalker POV viewer out there. So without further ado, let's get on to the raffle. And the new owner of this George Springer Blue Jays jersey is, drum roll please, Marva! Congratulations Marva! You are officially the winner of the Jay Walker POV George Springer Blue Jays jersey giveaway. And Marva, we will coordinate with you within the next couple of weeks to see how we can get this jersey in your hands so you can represent it wearing it at a future Blue Jays game. But moving on, just after midnight, I went on an impromptu mini adventure, driving to this area of Pearson Airport for the first time in a little while, then going to the arrivals area of Terminal 1 to pick up my former coworker, Sydney, who you guys remember made several cameos in previous Live From Last Week episodes, and helped drive her back downtown to her condo for a little bittersweet farewell. Yo, Sydney! So I just picked her up from the airport and I'm saying our last goodbye for a while because she's actually leaving the unit that I work on. And usually I make a goodbye video to all my coworkers that leave the unit. But earlier in the week, I was just so busy and stressed and it was the first of my four night shifts. So I was just not in the mood to do anything. Yeah, to say goodbye. <laughs> for now, it's not goodbye. It's only farewell. You gonna stay in touch? Yes. And we're gonna go to Jay's game when you come back. Mm -hmm. All right, sure. that's a verbal contract, guys. It is. All right, see you, Sid. Bye. Ah. Sid, it was great having you as a coworker in our times inside and outside of work, and I'm wishing you nothing but the best for your future. Anyways, guys, after having the full two days of my weekend off, tonight I'm going in for my first of another scheduled set of four night shifts. And with that, we'll wrap up this week's Live From Last Week episode right here. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.